do this little tip for everybody. I just did uh, the Barber Beast on the Bay uh, up in Erie on the Presco Isle. We did a lot of sand running during the race. It's an, actually it's an obstacle course race, um, but we ran a lot in the sand, like the first mile, mile and a half. We stayed dry and then we got wet. But when I first started today, um, we got to the finish line or the start line. Actually walked out to the beach area, and right away I was getting sand in my shoes. Um, I have my ultra, I had my Ultra Gam gaiters on, but the toe box area where the uh, Ultra Gams don't cover, which most gaiters do not cover, uh, let some sand in because shoes are porous. And I was like, well, this is just gonna suck because my shoes are just gonna fill up with sand in that first mile, mile and a half. Well, I came up with this brilliant idea. This is gonna be your tip of the week, tip of the month, tip of the year, whatever you wanna call it. <clears throat> Go wet your shoes so they're not as porous. So that fine sand doesn't get in your toe box as easily when it's dry. So if it's wet, that water acts as more of a barrier in your toe box so it's not going straight into your shoe. This actually proved to be a really smart, on-the-fly thing I came up with. I never heard anybody say it. I don't know if it's out there and other people have come up with this before. But it's a really good idea and it worked. Uh, it worked until we got wet. And then the, the wetness, the rest of the uh, race kept the sand out. <coughs> and between my Ultra Gam gaiters, keeping the sand out of my ankle area and around where they cover at, and then wetting my shoes. I didn't have any issues today running in the sand, getting sand all through my shoes. So if you're gonna run on the beach anywhere, uh, you know, just as a training run, or if you're actually doing a race that's running on the sand or another obstacle course like that, where you might not get wet right away, go in the bathroom or, you know, get a bottle of water, dump it around your shoe, get it wet, so then the sand can't get in as easily. Now, I will say I did have a few particles of sand at the end of the race, whatever, you know, if we really want to get technical, but not nearly as much as I did just walking 50 yards on the beach when I first uh, got to the start line I, and I ran 10 miles probably 7 of it was actually in sand so the water did work it did act as a barrier well, I know what somebody's going to say well I don't wet wet feet or wet shoes all the time we don't necessarily have to trench them just get a little bit of moisture on the shoe so it doesn't uh you know just acts as that barrier and I think it will help a lot of people out unless you want sand in your shoes again it's really only gonna work if you're wearing gaiters as well because if you're not wearing gaiters the sand's just gonna go down in your uh, your normal ankle area but this definitely worked I hope it helps you and um, yep look forward to what people say or if it works for them or they found it in, in, uh, ge genius or if other people uh, knew this before and I just did so kind of curious uh, what people think or you know of this tip let me know